Hello, Miami Dolphin fans. This is a quick Fins Roundup here on DolphinsThirsty.com. Thank you so much for finding us. It's always great to have fellow Fin fans find our site, DolphinsThirsty.com. You guys rock. And with no further ado, let's get this fun show on the road. It's going to be a quick hitting show. So let's go. In this roundup, it's basically covering the local news roundup. The Dolphins had some of their newer members meet with the local media via press conference, and one of them, a returning player from an injury who we recover first. Emmanuel Ogbaugh talked to the Dolphins, um, covers, staff, reporters, whatever you want to call them, beat writers, via a press conference on the air on Miami Dolphins dot com which you can go find if you want to see the whole um interview but basically he said he's ready he was let down last year that he felt he like the team down by getting injured so he is ready to go he is extra motivated he said he's still learning the defensive plays and that he's willing to move along anywhere on the defensive line including with his hand in the dirt and standing up on an end He's willing to do whatever it takes to help the Finns get some wins. And that's all we want to hear. He really sounded exciting. It was a good interview. Like I said, go over there and check it out. Isaiah Wynn, who I wrote about the other day on here, which I can bring up some of his numbers to bring that reminder. But you can find that his, his write up on my site about his signing. And he also spoke with the media. And he said he's willing, just like Ogba has said, he's willing to do any position. If they ask him to play right tackle, if they're playing guard or left tackle when needed, he is ready to go. He just wants to help the team win, be ready to go. And it's exciting to start what he calls a new chapter in his life. He, he said the story is just beginning to be written, and he is excited to be here in South Florida. He's originally from Tampa area better known as St. Petersburg, as he would like to say. That's where he's really from. He was born in Tampa, but grew up in St. Petersburg, which you guys know is right there all next to each other. So that was good. And then another quick article Barry Jackson had. He did a good piece, Barry Jackson of the Miami Herald. He had a good piece on the undrafted defensive backs that's going to be competing in the Miami Dolphins training camp this year. He talked about Bennett Williams, which is another Oregon defensive back. We have a habit of bringing in Oregon defensive back, he pointed out in his article. He also talked about Keondron Smith, the Kentucky young man that will be in the Dolphins training camp as well. He even talked about Ethan Bonner, a Stanford defensive back that will be in the camp as well. So it's going to be a lot of competition in the defensive back is the gist of the article. But the Dolphins have had in the past, as you know, Nick Needham and Cater Kohu have made the team as defensive back undrafted players. So I'm excited for this season. There's a lot of stuff. No big news. Hopefully by June 1st, more big news comes out. But it is great to talk Miami Dolphins football. It's always good. 24-7, if I'm not sleeping, I'm probably driving my wife and kids crazy talking about Miami Dolphins football. Recently retired, but at work, I would go there and talk to them about Miami Dolphins football. I mean, on busy days when we had 12-hour days, somehow my mind will wonder about the Miami Dolphins, wondering what they're doing, what they're going to do next. One of these days, they're going to give us a playoff win. It's been 20 years, but I'm ready for a playoff win. I'm sure you're ready for a playoff win. You guys rock, though. You really do. Check out. My Dolphins Thirsty. You guys see it up on our menu here on the website. Dolphins Thirsty. Um, now it has the Miami Dolphins trivia menu. Pow! You hit that and kaboom. You get a whole bunch of trivia. You don't have to search around my site anymore. All condensed. You find all the trivia, including 1972 trivia, all the way up through modern day trivia, to recent draft picks trivia, all kinds of fun stuff. Trivia Tuesday is a very popular thing that I do here and people seem to like it. I may do video versions of trivia coming up in the near future. Let me know. And if you find me on YouTube, if you go look up Dolphin Thirsty on YouTube, you will find me. Give me a like and subscribe. I always want to bring in people. If you got stuff to promote, if you got stuff to talk, just come do it. It'd be fun. We talk fitness up football. 
all the time. I can also be found on the Fins Talk Sports Network every Tuesday night at 7.30 p.m. Great bunch of guys over there. The main host of that show is Steve Malloy, and I'm his co-host. People come on my channel, and then I flip the role, and then I'm the host, and he's the co-host. I get to use the Dolphin Thirsty Power. Yes, because we're all thirsty for Dolphin. I'm so thirsty. I've drunk this all today because I always want Miami Dolphins information. You guys are the best fan base in the world. We are the best fan base. We've done a lot, and we're still here. People may say, oh, you guys are so critical on Twitter, but you know what? It's 20 years of no playoff win. 20-plus years. It takes 20 years to be nice. December 30th. 2000. That's the last time the Miami Dolphins won a playoff, and that was in overtime. And then the next week, we went and got shut out, which was a telling sign because we've been shut out of playoff victories ever since then. It's been a downhill battle, but now we're going to go uphill again. It's going to be easier to go downhill as we're kicking teams, but this team has to win. They're built to win. And yes, I may be having high expectations. You know what? Because the teams told me to have. They didn't call, call me personally and say, hey, Rob, have high expectations, but all the moves they've done has given me high expectations. They have signed, well, of course, they traded for Tyreek Hill last year, Bradley Chubb. Then they go and sign, you know what I mean, trade for Jalen Ramsey. So they're giving up picks that where you would develop these players. No, they're saying we're going to win now and we're just bringing in the known quantity. We are going to go LA Rams style and try to win a Super Bowl no matter how we can do it. So there is no excuse. I don't care if it's a tough schedule, easy schedule, doesn't matter. This win games bottom rung has to be 10 wins hopefully 11 or 12 12 is you know getting up there in this tough division but you got to be coming back with the double digits none of this single digits up we need the double digits so we're rolling in dolphin pride and like i said find me on dolphins thirsty on the various social media outlets i am on instagram facebook twitter and of course here on dolphins thirsty because if you're thirsty for dolphin information dolphins thirsty is the place to come it's all fun i do this for fun you don't see ads popping up all over because i do this for fun i had to retire early so this is fun this is my passion i want to talk dolphins we all have different thoughts on how the team gets here but we all have the same thought of let's win dolphin thank you so much you guys are the best just remember that you're the best i know i said it a few times but i just want to hammer it home we are among the best fan bases and all the world and i stick by those words and on that note see you guys later fins up like and subscribe over there on youtube keep on coming back to dolphin thirsty go check out the fins talk sports network you guys rock see you later goodbye guys